three, three, two, two, one, one. Got a blast! What is going on my people? How is everybody doing and how is everybody feeling? And today, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you all how to make Prime Zach Randolph. So as you can see, right, inside our glass cleaner, right? But before we get into this video, if you are new, please drop a like on this video to show the channel some love. And if you are not yet subscribed, please hit the subscribe button just so you could be a part of the community and what we got going over here at J Blast Gaming. So inside the art glass cleaner, very interesting build name. First things first, when we look at the attributes, we know that Zach Randolph to me was a dog, okay? He was a dog, he was a great player, solid um, you know, post player, he was a good rebounder, he was bully ball at the power forward position in the post. So first things first, I'm already looking at the greatness of the uh, build. So uh, driving layup of an 80, standing dunk of an 80. That right here, these two is gonna be amazing because that means that you're gonna be able to shoot uh, layups, you're gonna be able to get standing dunks when you need. Driving dunk 65, this is all you would need to get a regular dunk package. I saw that Giannis dunk package to get it. It costs a lot, but it's so cheap. So I'm just like, you know what? I might as well just get that, you know, Giannis dunk package. 97 close shot, which is amazing. He was, listen, he was, he played uh, with his back towards the basket, easy. And he had a little nice little mid range. Listen, he was just incredible. All right, my people. So we are in the my player builder, as you can see. First and last name, Zach Randolph, left hand. Jersey is number 50. You want to go to a power forward, of course. And then you want to stay at 6'9". Then you want to go all the way up to 260. You want to drop your, your wingspan to 7 foot because that was the same um, wingspan Zach had. So first things first, when we look at the build, he had a 97 on the close shot. I don't think we need a 97, but I think 93 is still that sweet spot from what I've been seeing. 80 on the drop and layup, that's going to be really nice. That's going to give us slithery on silver. That's going to be really good. Uh, driving dunk only at a 65. All right. Now, when it comes to the standing dunk, you want to go up to an 80. All right. 80 on the standing dunk. That's going to be really nice. You might even go 81 just so we can get precision dunk. Yeah, let's go 81. <laughs> Why not, right? Now, for the post control, post control was a 95. I don't think we need 95, but I do want to get all of the post control stuff if we possibly could go okay so that's perfect by going 95 we get everything you also get unpluckable on gold that's gonna be amazing so look at all of this hall of fame hall of fame this is beautiful this is what we want when we're making a zach randolph build all right the mid-range shot was very high at a 92 i don't think we really need 92 to hit consistently so i'll definitely just get it in the 80s i'll just go 82 82 gives us guard up and it gives us catch and shoot on gold. I think we'll be fine with that. We don't need 90 plus on the midi. I think we'll be all right. As long as we can hit the open shot consistently, we're fine. He had a 74, I'm going 75. Okay, 75 is what I'm rocking with. Then for the free throw, we're gonna go up to just a 75 as well, all right? Pass accuracy we know is low. But here's the thing, when I reach, um, the bottom in terms of the stamina, we're putting all the attributes in. If I have enough, I can definitely increase the mid-range or I can, you know, I can do a lot more once I put his exact attributes in the way that he has it. Um, so now for the pass after she was 55. And then the ball handle, he had a 35. Can we drop this? No, we can't. So we're just gonna leave the 45 and the speed with ball was a 25. We're just gonna, so this is all we're doing for the passer, right? And the ball handling. This is a post up mid range popper. This is a, you know, rebounder type of build. So that's how you want to do with a Zach Randolph build. Don't try to do any extra stuff. Play to your strengths, play to your game. You got a 42 perimeter. I'm going to just go 50. It still was a 58. I'm going to just go 60 because that just makes sense. All right. So we're gonna get intercept on bronze. That's gonna be really nice. The block was low. Ah, I know, I know some people would want the block, but I don't know if 
putting the block all the way up is going to, you know what? We're making Zach Randolph, so I'm gonna just leave a 40. Then we get that beautiful 88 offensive rebound, right? And then this is what we want, 92. So 88 offensive rebound, 92. So you're gonna be able to rebound, okay? Rebound really, really well. Then we wanna go 50, and then we wanna go 50 here. This is what he had. I don't wanna go any higher, okay? Because that is what Zach Randolph had. He had that, all right? So now, this is where the fun happens because he was amazing in the post, so we wanna make sure that we get that strength. He had a 96, so we're going all the way up to that 96, okay? By going 96, we get Bulldozer. See, so I was surprised he didn't have Bulldozer, but by going 96, we get that Bulldozer. The Burt was a 64, but we're just gonna go 60 on the Burt right here. So that's, by going past 60, no, actually by going 60, it gives us Rise Up and it gives us Pogo Stick. So that should be nice. That's gonna be really, really good, all right? Now, for the Stamina, he had a 95, so that's awesome. All right, 95. Yeah, you know what, let's just max that out, it's, it's whatever. So now that we did that, we can do something. You know what, let's go a little up on acceleration. We're gonna go 60, let's go 70 here. And we'll go 64 XL. Okay, and then last but not least, I went here, right? Let's just put this up here to 79. All right, so this is the build, all right? This is the Zach Randolph build right here. Prime Zach Randolph, as you can see. Everything is looking really good. This is a playable build. Yes, the block is not there, but at least you do have that 75 interior. In my honest opinion, I would say probably just put your hands up when you're in the paint. But the amazing thing about this build is the strength. So you have a Moodle Enforcer improves a defensive player's strength when defending ball handlers and finisher. This is going to help. You got back down Punisher on Hall of Fame. You have post lock on bronze. Um, let's see what else that could probably help. But that's that's really it. But everything else is looking really good. Everything else is really looking really good. All right. So now we continue. So when we do that. We should get shades of Zach Randolph, like right there. That's definitely Zach Randolph, so that's gonna be really good. So this is his exact build, my people. Let's see what the name comes out. Inside the Art Glass Clean. Really, really nice, all right? Really nice. So y'all let me know what y'all thought about this build. Drop a like and subscribe if you haven't. And until next time, much love.